<laughs> well, we are live. Um, good morning, everybody. Hello, Terry Candelaro. How are you? This is Jane Newhouse, our special guest, all the way from Pennsylvania. And Dean is having a dreary day out there. Oh, man. Let's see. Dean is having a dreary day out there. Oh, there I am muted. Okay, I had to find my way back to YouTube. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Dolores and Maury and Calypso and Joyce McCullough and Eddie and Dean and Debbie and Caroline and Terry. Good morning. Where's Quintia? I miss Quintia. She was here. Hey. Hi, Debbie. Morning, Heather. Hi, hey, Caroline. Caroline. Dean. Heather. Hi, Eddie. All right. Whoa. Jane, Heather is my daughter. Hi, Heather. Nice to meet you. We got our usual morning crew, and then Debbie's here. That's it. Long time no see. I'm sorry you've been sick, and I hope you feel better. Cha Cha, I sent you the link. Where are you? I called you. You're still awake, huh? Hey, Cha Cha. Hey, Quintia. So Hi, Daddy. Really excited to have Jane on today. Hi, Dean. Hi, Cha-Cha. I saw it, Dean. Lucy, did you see Dean's message? No worries. Oh, the two clowns he has out, you say? I knew I have it out now. The, the handkerchief face. I don't think that's me. I never had a handkerchief face. And I just sold my clowns um, last night. You might be confusing me with somebody. I don't know, Dean. Handkerchief case. I have the amber handkerchief case. Oh, the case. Oh, I got you. I'm misreading that. The dome and then the two clowns. Nice. Very cool. Good morning, Maury. Morning, Maury. Maury, this is our friend Jane from Pennsylvania. Hi, Mookie. Nice to meet you. I'm hoping I have stuff for dads today because, you know, dad day is coming up soon. Hey, Terry. I don't know if I forget who I said hey to. Hey, everyone. <laughs> hey, Terry. All right. Well, I guess we can get Calypso. Can welcome. Welcome, Calypso. All right. Usually, I make our guests go first. Are you okay with that? Okay. Throw her in there. Huh? <laughs> She's got this. Ah, it's been a while. I'm glad to see you all. Um, I would like to say thank you for all the kind gifts and the kind words and prayers that you all sent me. That was so sweet and really helped a lot. So I want to say thank you. And so for the first thing, I have a little swan. Oops, I'm not used to this camera. She has little flowers on the front side. Isn't she pretty? She has no chips, no cracks, and you're doing better than me. 
It's an original A R T M I. And then <clears throat> the bottom sticker. I need to back up. Just tell me. This is only a little guy. Okay, he sits on my shoulder like this big. He'd be really cute in your bathroom. Okay, we're, this little guy is, we'll just start him at $4. And I cannot see the chat at all. Okay, I'll watch, I'm watching the chat. I just typed in the um, start for you. And welcome, 17. There's little yellow and pink with a blue flower painted up here. <clears throat> I can find, and I can't. I did have a yardstick and ruler, and I can't. Those always run away when, when we go live. The rulers and the ink pens, they all get legs and walk away. But he's only this big. Okay. Do I do two? Yes, ma'am. You can do two. We do two yes, normally. Yes. Okay. And the next one I have... It's a little set of white kitties, blue eyes. Oh. There's the first one. He's highlighted in gray. She, she's very pretty. The number on the bottom is W I S I one three. Otherwise, there are no other markings. What used to be here is long gone. There's the bottom. But I'm not used to this camera. Shoot. <laughs> okay, you got the idea. Here's the first one. That's adorable. Here's the second one. She's got a little paw up, like, where's my food? Bring it on. There's no chips, no cracks, no nothing. And the kitties <coughs> will sell up as a pair for $8. And that's my two. Great price. That They're cute. Horrible. I think the last one, but because the sticker's not there, I'm yeah. not going to say that. But I got to remember which way to go. So it's backwards. <laughs> of what you think. They're a matching pair. All right. We have um, Debbie coming in at $8 from Angelic Vintage Treasures. All right. All right, and then we still have um, the swan figurine available for four if anybody's interested. And if uh, no one else comes in for those kitties, I'm going to start calling it to Debbie. Oh, good morning, Laura. All right, going one. Morning, Laura. Going twice. Oh, Debbie. Oh gosh, my typing skills. I'm sorry. Oh, that's because Debbie's name is not starting with Debbie. Angelic treasures party. Yay! Okay, and Teresa, I'm making you go next. You ready? Okay. Thank you. Sure. She's so cute. I love Jane. I know, Jane's precious. Good morning, everybody. Maybe I missed in the chat. Good morning. 
I'm going to start off with a little trivet made in Mexico. It's the only marking it has, and it's $1. It's just like a little 4 by 4 little trivet. You could hang it on your wall, or you could put, I'm sure you could put a spoon on it, or anything you wanted to, really. Put it on your dresser, just make it pretty. $1, and only markings Mexico. And I'm going to do a $1 book. It says, Living on Less and Liking More. I like this. It is a 1977 third edition, and it's a $1. I just kind of like the uh, retro look. Like this lady has Maxine Hancock and the actual book without the cover is just a dark kind of black look but it does have a pretty silver writing on the edge so again the book is one dollar living and liking it more or the little trivet for a dollar thank y'all and Jane Dean would like this one please Thank you. All right. And y'all just let us know in the chat if y'all are interested in the next. Y'all just let us know in the chat. Okay. Um. So I'm so busy paying attention to y'all. I have this beautiful Kokomo glass vase. It's purple, and it's got a sawtooth rim, kind of shaped like a star on the top, and. There's the bottom. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. And I'm going to start this out at $30. It's pretty and purple. Oh, I didn't send my message. Sorry, Terry. Okay. Kokomo glass base. 30. I'm getting down to all my expensive items. It's all expensive. <laughs> And then, um, let's see. I have this awesome and amazing paddle ball disc. And paddle ball disc. Paddle ball set. It's got two paddles, two balls. It's by the Champions Court. It's new in its box. Um, they don't have the original price tag, so I don't know what it costs. But I'm going to start this out at five dollars if anybody's interested. Five starting bid. Battle ball. Mm, kids are out for the summer, you know, keep them entertained. Okay. And here is Jane. Hi. I'm <laughs> trying to pull this up on my phone so I can see what's going on. Um, okay. I'm going to ask you a question because, honestly, I don't know. But if glass feels like it's going to cut you, is that real glass? I mean, real crystal or the old crystal? It could be cut glass or it could be crystal. It depends on if it's, like, a lot heavier than you think glass should be, then I would say crystal. Okay. Especially, yeah. This is a very small two-little bowl. You can throw your keys in it, your rings in it. Heck, you can even throw your scouring pad in it. This has got mm -hmm. opal, like, like an opal essence. You can, I hope you can see that. I'm trying to hold on to it. I'm watching on my phone too. Okay. This is just a small little bowl. It's very nicely done. And it doesn't really, yeah, a little bit. Anyway. What is the design, Jane? Huh? The design. You have a question. What is the design? Actually. I don't know what you call that. It is got like wheat and acorns. Okay, here's the bottom.
I'm not really. Can you see this? This looks like wheat. It looks uh -huh. like a down here. Okay, it's not the grapes and all that. It's totally different. But if you can see the opal in it, it's beautiful, like carnival glass. Yes. Okay, start this out at eight dollars. If anybody's interested, that's my first. Hey, Stephanie. Thing. Huh? Did I? Did hey, I Stephanie. Not? And um, they're asking if there's any mold lines from like pressed glass eyes. Like, does it have a seam on it? No. Okay. I'm assuming handles are applied. There's a handle, but there is no seam. There's the handle. There's nothing there. No seam whatsoever. Oh, sorry. There's no seam. And my second, because it has, oh, yeah, I said that. I told you I'm nervous. This is a very pretty little bell. And it still got the stickers stuck on it. These are little violets. And I think this is loved in, but again, it's missing it. Picker. This is full lead crystal. Beautiful. And this was made exclusively for Avon. That's a pretty dinger. There's no chips, no cracks. There's the handle. And the little dinger is also loud like the pretty little flowers and there's the Avon sticker right here where it says that goes my voice 24% lead crystal okay and we'll mark him at $10 if anybody's interested Okay, and set is right here. So it's not a real big bell, but it's not a small one either. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jane. Y'all let us know in the chat if y'all are interested in any of that. And welcome, Stephanie. Good to see you. And here's Teresa. Jane, you got this. You're doing great. Don't be nervous. I got a hardback um, Reader's Digest book of facts, one dollar. It's got all kind of facts in it. It says about people, places, science, animals, arts. Let me show you a little bit of inside. I mean, it kind of looks like an encyclopedia or something inside, but it is in light new condition. One dollar. Let me see what the copyright is real quick. I should have looked at this before, but I didn't think about it. Uh, 1987. So it is older, but the facts are the facts, I guess, especially by Reader's Digest. One dollar. The neck I have a jewelry box. It's older jewelry box. I'm asking ten dollars for it. Made in Taiwan. In interper in I N T R P U R. It has a gold velvet, crushed velvet type inside is rather large so little handles and all are still on it the only it it doesn't have mirror I'm sure that it probably had a mirror at one time it's not in there and the only thing I saw a little scratch right here that's why I marked it only 10 and here's the bottom and the little belt things are kind of worn because it is older 
and it is in still in really good condition. Oh, that one's different. Carolyn, you want the book? Car Caroline. It's kind of a slim. I mean, Caroline. I'm going to call it the wrong name. Um, it is a slim line, but it was made to not take up so much dryer. I got you for the book. And if anyone's interested in this, let me know. And I thank y'all. That is a very nice jewelry box. I like that. Welcome, Christy. Okay. So. Hey, Christy. Next up, I have this beautiful Royal Copley planter. It's got like a um, kind of pinkish, bluish, mauve agony looking color. A lot of people did this color. Roseville Pottery did this color. Um, Hager, everybody made this color. Anyway, there's a little stamp on the bottom. It does have some wear to the vase, or to the base, rather. Um, that line is just, you know, it's glazed over. It's not um, a crack or anything on the outside. And it does have quite a bit of crazing on the inside and a little bit that shines through. And this beautiful planter is going to be a $10 starting bid. Royal Copley. Planter. Thank you. And so there's that. I don't know if Christy's ready to go yet. I'm going to give her a chance to get adjusted. And then I have this beautiful um, redware pottery piece. He is a little cat. And he's got some blue around. Now I can see him so much better during the day. Some blue around his back. And he's got his eyes and ears colored in. There's his base. And then his backside, so you can either stand him up or lay him flat. And he is going to be an $8 starting bid for the catfish. And he's got no chips or cracks or any issues with him. He's in really good, good condition. That's my two, so y'all just let me know if y'all are interested in either of those. And here is Jane. Thank you. Okay. Anybody like Bobby? Oh, I'm going to shoot this phone. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Stupid thing. Okay. I have a little black doggy. He looks like a poodle. He's got, he's just a little hand-painted black little pup. He's so cute. I'm not sure, but I think he's redware. Okay? He is made in Japan, and she, he has big white and black eyes, little bitty red nose, a little flower, and this guy is um, three inches tall. I hate my phone. Okay? There's no paint loss. There's no chips. There's no cracks. And he will start at five dollars if anybody's interested he's so cute she i'll find the camera yet okay she's three inches and i have another white kitty little blue eyes this one's a hunko kitty No chips, no cracks. She's a little pink nose, little blue eyes. There's her bottom as well as her sticker. 
And she is, because I went and got the tape measure, she is from ear to paw. Ear to paw. She's three and a half inches tall, and she's three and a half inches wide, long. Okay? And she also will start at $4. Anybody interested in that? And that's my two. Thank you. Does she match? She look. Uh, does that say does she match? Yes, ma'am. Does she match the other ones? She's. How do? You, she, wait. Let me get them. They look very similar to me. They're they are. This one has. More of a glaze, okay. These two, more of a glaze, and this one is more like this. Is that what you call it? like home color? Yeah. When it's yeah. yes, but yes, when you put them together, they do match. It's just that this one has a glaze and this one doesn't. So what she means is you need the two cats, not this one. I didn't hear you. I had that problem with my headset apparently. Um, I was saying they need two cats, not just one, because they're the same brand, same type of cat, everything. They match. Oh no, the other ones are probably left in we think, and that, that one's Homeco. Mm -hmm. Christy's a mod. Yeah, Porcelain, yeah, porcelain Homeco. And I'll find that dog on Kiko, yeah. But same mm -hmm. kind of breed, yeah. Mm -hmm. These ones were marked. These guys just had numbers. But yes, they do very much match. All right. Well, y'all let us know if y'all are interested in either of those in the chat, and I will throw it on over to Teresa. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Okay. Who doesn't like chocolate or mozzapone or praline? This is a little plaque. It was made in Canada. It looks like it's just a little particle board type thing. It does have a hanger. It's $2. I, this would starve me, though, probably half a wall. But it is pretty. Two dollars for it. Then I have a pretty little box with the mosaic tile cut out on the top. Caroline said she liked boxes, so I went ahead and picked it back up. I have ten dollars on it. It is just a little box. It is a real wood box. And it does have the mosaic blinding y'all probably beautiful glass top oh i don't drop it and it's 10. so i have the chocolates for two box for 10. thank you thank you teresa i see more in act two oh can you guys hear me at all? Now I can. Now I, I can hear that. I can hear you. I, I can hear that. More you want this, or was it something Jane had? No. Uh, so the picture, was, maybe? Yeah, it was the $2 for the plaque picture, yeah. Okay. stickers on the front. I think I think they could be removed. I don't want to pick at them if you don't want me to. I think that's probably something because it doesn't really go with the box all that. 
Yeah, you know, I think they're the, stickers. Yeah, they're the stickers, it looks like. But they're cute, little rose stickers. And then you have that fancy stuff on top. With a little... has a little rhinestone in the middle. <laughs> Okay. Thank y'all. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, so thank y'all. Next up, I have this little um, hunter themed picture. It's like a Majolica style. It's got a little greyhound or a whippet on the handle, and a little hunting scene around the sides. Uh, and it's got like this big palm leaf down the front. Looks very, I don't know. I just love the look of that. Um, I just love the look of his little tail is hanging down. Make a great gift for a uh, Father's Day or a new young father in the family or whatnot. And this guy is going to start out at $35. And it's pretty big. And I had my tape measure ready to go, so I'm probably sitting on it, to be honest with you guys. So there's that one. So there's um, Caroline just came in over $10 on the mosaic box. Thank you. Hey, Judy. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Hi, Judy. Hi. <laughs> And then I have this, um, along with this thing, is this ring neck pheasant milk glass, um, fire king. They, there was, they did like a hunting thing and that's one of them. And that's going to be $3 if anybody's interested in that. And that I believe is milk glass and that's my two. And I thank you guys, and y'all just let me know if you're interested in anything in the chat. How much was the pheasant mug? It's three dollars. All right, and here's Jane. That's a pheasant, but I don't know how to spell it. That's right, you spelled it right. Okay, next I have this pretty little girl. I hope you guys can see her. She has a brown ponytail coming down. If she was blonde, I would keep her for Lily and Gracie. But she's got brown hair. Right now, at least now, Gracie has blonde. She has no chips, no cracks. She has her eyes closed. She's smelling her flower. She's such a pretty little brown dress. And kind of like a beige apron on. She has flowers in her hair. And a flower here. Her The petals to the flowers are all there. There's the Lufton sticker. Oop. There we go. There's the Lufton sticker. Okay, and we will start her, if anybody, she looks like a little angel. She's so sweet. We'll start her out at $6, if anybody's interested. That's my first one. And my second one, excuse me, my allergies are going crazy. Ugh is a little bird. This is a little Lufton bird. Okay, he's blue. Here, he, I think at one time he had blue up here. He no longer has a sticker. Okay, trying to get this stupid sticker off here. This little guy, he's just real little. At one time, he had a sticker, but it's very much long gone. Okay, and I'll tell you, he's just setting up on a perch. Here's the leaf, and this little bird is 
just little, from the top of his head to the bottom of the um, tree limb is three inches. Okay, and the little girl, the little girl, okay. Thank you. Do you want to know how tall she is? She's just a little girl. She is almost six inches tall. Wait, let me do that again. My finger got stuck. Okay, from the top of her tail, she's five inches tall. I'm sorry. She's so sweet. Thank you, Sue. I can see it popped up. Thank you very much. And here's the little bird. And it's back to you. Thank you. How much was your little bird, Jane? Six. Did I say six? You said six for the girl. I don't know about the bird. Maybe so. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. And here is Teresa. Didn't want to unmute for some reason. I'm going to try my little hedgehog that I tried last night. It's $3. It is a new cup. Still has all the stickers on it. It is adorable, I think. Somebody needs to drink out of this hedgehog. <laughs> Okay, and then I have a little, another little plaque. It says, you will keep perfect peace. Him's mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26, 3. And it's just the $1 little plaque. I like the little colors on it too. $1 plaque or $3 hedgehog. Make that sweet. Need some sleepy time tea out of him. He looks like he's sleeping to me. Thank y'all. Okay, I'm gonna mute everybody and leave myself unmuted so I don't um so I don't edit you. And Terry would go ahead. And Terry would like your cup, please, man. Okay, this next item I got is pretty large. Um, it is a fish, and he's carved out, and he's got a lot of gold tones throughout his gills. Pink fins, purple and blue body. Oh, he's got some oranges. He's really pretty colors. Um, let's see. He's got really minor wear. I think he's got a little ding right there. And uh, it looks like they hit, he like hit his lip pretty good but it's still intact it's not like busting through to the other side if i'm like Jim Morrison. is he carved wood yeah he's carved wood and he is from jamaica i'm pretty sure because somebody tied their jamaica bracelet around his tail it says yemon jamaica maybe they mean yemon huh Anyway, it's a huge fish. He's really cool. And I'm going to start him out at $14 for this guy. And next up, I have this little oh Japanese-style cruet. I have... Um, it's hand-decorated by CAGC, Quality Imports Japan. It's kind of got this cut ceramic and the little vessels inset. And it has the faux crazing going on and pretty gold gilding. It does have like the little indents where you can squeeze it. And this is going to be $6. Is it like a sake, you know, thing? Just yeah, you can use it for sake or you can use it for soy sauce. It's like a little cruet. Okay. And... Yeah, so like the inside's inset, and it's got some gold gilding on it, and there's a little finger indents, 
And again, that is six dollars, and that is my two. And thank you, Caroline. I thought he was cool too. And here's Jane. Okay, for my next thing, item thing. Okay, are these ducks? There, there we go. Up, there we go. <laughs> These are hand done. I'm assuming, you know, like in ceramics cloth, um, a school thing. They're painted blue and tan. She has pretty black eyes. There are no marks. So I can't tell you who did her. But these are very, very, very good shape. Because I remember doing these back in the 70s. Here is this one. Okay. And again, there's just felt on her bottom. But they lay like she lays with her big head up. Like she's squawking. And here's the two together. Oh, sorry. I will tell you their measurements. I did have it. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, the one that's kind of got her head up and squawking from beak to tail, she is 10 inches. And from her beak to the ground, she is uh, about five, about five, five and a half inches. And that's this one. I hope you can see the little dots in there. They are so cute. I think I shattered mine. And this one that sets up is from head to bottom. Is, ah, I need three hands. She's six inches tall, and from beak to tail, she is nine and a half. Nine and a half. So, for this set of ducks, blue ducks, tan ducks, they're very nicely done. For this set, we'll start this at 15. If anybody's interested, <laughs> my ducks are swimming. Okay, that's the first item. I'm going to set these down. You get the pair. Okay, and we'll do this. This is a really nice mug. Okay, but I think it's German. And I don't know how to speak German. Speckin' D. Speckin' Grandpa taught me. This mug is really nice. There's the seven silver lid with the emboss on the inside. It has no chips, no cracks. There's the inside. And there's what it says across there. I think I'm sliding down, sorry. Okay, it does have crazing. It comes open like that. And there's the mark on the bottom. And for this mug, we'll do this at $10. It says D-O-R-T-M-V-N-D. -D. It's this name right here. Okay, so if anybody's interested, this is $10. We'll start out. And that's my two. Thank you. I'm going to fix my camera. Sorry. You're fine.
That was some adorable ducks, and that is a very nice German Stein. It's very pretty. And here hey. is Teresa. Let us know if y'all are interested in the chat. If I have anything to do with it, the blue bow geese are coming back. I still have a clock of one up there. I love them. I love them in the 90s, and I still love them. I have a $1 book. It's about Peter Jennings' Walk Across America. It is a 19, it says 1973 is when it started, but this copyright is 1979. But it does show his walk, and he did end up in Louisiana here. Lisa, where you're at. The cover is kind of war. It's been loved. It's not really torn apart, but it's just been but the book itself is still been pretty. And the inside of the book is still in very good condition. It does have some pictures of some things in it. Long his journey. And it is Peter Jennings, so maybe that's collectible by now. Oh hi sure. One dollar. Then for seven dollars. So I have the milk glass salt and pepper shakers there very good condition the seven dollar little sticker don't want to stay on it they are made in taiwan they do have the little uh diamond points on them i was they they go really good together like they belong together <laughs> they roll across each other anyway um those seven in the book is a dollar and jane do you have whirls my man is looking for a squirrel squirrel World like a album. wild squirrel. Yeah, hold on. Let me go check. You do. I know. Uh, it's no no rush, but my, I know she's looking for one. Okay, hold so on. That's my two. The book or the glass salt and pepper. Shake. What do you do? It on your next turn. It'll be fine. Whatever the um, next. Teresa, I'm in for a dollar for the book. Okay, gotcha. Oh no, Jane's camera, no! How much was the salt and pepper shaker? You okay, Jane? I think she had a dog in her lap. I'm pretty sure she's okay. It wasn't the sound of like a person falling. It's just, there she is. Okay. I'm fine. Okay, <laughs> making sure. So next I can't the floor. Do you remember how much the salt and pepper shakers? I know she's shown them before. Seven. But Seven dollars. Seven. Seven. So I have this beautiful glass um, perfume bottle, and it has like this lovely Art Deco style fan, um, like top, and it's a dabber bottle. So you do like that, and there's the ground um, stopper, and you just rub it on your wrist. So you could put your favorite perfume in there, maybe make you an essential oil blend. Super cute. It's going to be an $8 start. It's just been hanging out on my vanity tray. And the bottom's got like a little star looking thing on it. But just kind of convex, like bubbles out. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Eddie says the squirrel did it. <laughs> Uh, Teresa, next turn, Amanda wants to see your thumb of shaking. Okay. So, okay. Gotcha. And then I have these Jasco pets. Um, they're going to be a choice, choice of, and they're both $15 each. This one is a pony. He's got his little leg wrapped up. I think he must have had some sawdust starting to seep through the seams, and so they bandaged his leg. And he stands up on his own, and they're really cute. They have cute little faces and really cute fabric. Or we have the raccoon, and he looks a little rough, like he had a tough night. His tongue's hanging out. Um, his hat's kind of falling apart. He's got pretty little hair and a little tail. If he's got a hangover. Yeah, he does. And like cataracts in one eye. But he's cool. And I love the little pony. Anyway, 
those are my two and if anybody's interested just let me know in the chat and i will write you down for them and here is jane okay next i have this one is by jasco 1978 it's hand-painted porcelain and it's called Little Lovekins? Look at him. He's so cute. He's done in blues and he's got blue dots on his head. He's holding his puppy. There's, there's his sticker. There's nothing wrong. You could put a little um, succulent in here. Heck, you could set him on your kitchen table and put toothpicks in there. Or in your bathroom, put a couple brushes, little makeup brushes. He's very cute. His little puppy is white and brown. And he's sitting on a tree stump. There's a little pink flower. Oop, that way. Okay. He is, I will tell you how tall he is. A little bit dusty. Okay, he's five inches tall. And we'll start him at eight dollars. If there's interested in this little guy. Pretty little pretty little puppy with his and the little guy's got blonde hair. Okay. And the second one is a set of home co. And because they're so cute, and one's a kitty and one's a puppy, we're going to do these together. Okay? She's a pretty, they both have blonde hair. There's the puppy. And here's the kitty. Here's the puppy. Here's the kitty. She has a yellow dress. It's trimmed in blue. Hers has red dots trimmed in yellow, an orange and blue dress with the puppy set in there singing. And these little ones together go like this. There's a big lag on my phone. Okay, and these guys are cute. She's got her little purse with her. Both of them reaching out to pat the doggy and the puppy. The doggy and the kitty, good lord. This one's four inches tall. This one is four inches tall. And for both of these, we'll start at $10. That's my two. Thank you. Thank you. Those are adorable. Just let us know if y'all are interested in the chat and we'll pass it along to Jane. And here's Teresa. You're muted still. Yeah. Your daughter wanted to see those. You're muted, Teresa. Having this computer issues. I am. My granddaughter has one that works a little better. I'm going to change up. Sorry, because I kept turning it off, kept coming back on. Anyway, these were seven dollars. That's, uh, that's Amanda, okay. Amanda Next wants those. Ten okay, man. Got it. Okay. Next, I have some little red chickens. And if y'all remember, I have the red butter dish that goes with these two somewhere. I'll have to look it up if you're interested in it. They do have their stoppers. They are in perfect condition as far as I can tell. See anything wrong with them. Maybe they may have a little bit of... I don't think it's really paint loss. I think that's just the way they're painted. They're cute as they can be. I have three, uh, $5 on them. Sorry. Okay. And next, they have the little shoehorn set here, and you can make it. All right, they're just like a 
to form your shoes or stretch your shoes, but you can make it bigger or littler here. I have five dollars on them. They are a plastic and a, and a wire metal type thing. They're just little shoe forms. Okay, five for the little chicken rooster. Or either five for the shoe forms. Straight. Thank you. Oh, I do see a little dink on this rooster, and I might have just done it because I didn't see it earlier. Um, I'll paint. mark them to three. Is it, since it has a little paint, I'll mark them to three because of that. If anybody's interested in them for three. Thank you. Nobody wants those. I'll take them. Okay. And I have Carolyn for the shoes that performs. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Teresa. I'm going to mute everybody because I have the echo, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so here we go. My next item is this little lacquer box. It's heart-shaped. It's gorgeous. It's very lightweight. Um, there's the inside. It's super shiny. You can see a reflection in that. And it's got some pretty, um, you know, colors around the side. I'm asking $11 on this. And I also have this powder shaker. Also, like a vanity thing, I think. Um. It's very pretty. It has some Moriyagi, um, some Satsuma-like um, gilding going on. And there's a little top, and you shake it out like that. And to put your powder in, it's like a twist-off, and it's got little slots in it. And you just pop it in and twist it, and it's ready to go. And I'm going to start this out at the same, $11. So I have my little powder shaker and my lacquer box and powder shaker's got an old sticker on it. 7185. Thank you, Amanda. And that's my two and here's Jane. Hello. Okay. The next thing I have for you, and from what I have learned, it's a wedding, first year wedding cake holder. You put your wedding cake at your, that you hold for a year. There is no chips, no cracks, and this is painted beautifully. It has very pretty pink roses with little blue, um, Forget me nots, maybe. Okay, this is the grapes and leaves melt glass. There's grapes on the lid, and I'm telling you, this thing is an excellent. There are no chips, no cracks. It's perfect. Okay, we'll start this, please, at um, $18. If anybody's interested, and I can give you the measurements. There it is. From the top of the lid to the pedestal, it is, it has a shorter pedestal. It is, go ahead. It's six and a half inches tall by... Four and a half inches square, long. It is pretty. It's got just a hint of purple ribbon right here. It's not really ribbon, but it's just painted in for that. And um, there is no, there is a mark on here. 
but once again, I have no idea. There is a mark right there. Okay? And that's 18. And for my next item is this little canister. This is just a little canister jar. Isn't it cute? It's very pretty. Got such a pretty flower on it. This is the color of my car. Kind of like a brownish red with the brown. And on the back, it says 16 ounces equals one pint, two cups, one pint, two pints, one quart. And it just goes down the line. So you never forget. It does have a cork top. There's the inside. There's no chips. There's no cracks. And on the bottom is handmade. And the number is 83503. And it was made. In Portugal, still, I don't know how to say that. S E C L A F T D. And for the little canister, we'll have this at $9. And that's my two. And I got to find out why I'm dying here. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. What's wrong? I'm dying. Oh, okay, okay. If you fall out, just come back. We'll add you. So I hope you got a chance to see that. Um, Terry, that was a very pretty piece. Terry wanted you to hold it up for her one more time. What, honey? The cake or the... The, um, the canister. Yeah. Come to the other side. There you go. And it's pretty. I love that it has measurements on the back. <laughs> Very yeah, thank you. I'm always going, how many pipes in the court? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I like that. All right. Just let hey, us know if you're interested you. here. And here is Teresa. It's Teresa. Here's my blue bogey for the day. Three dollar oh. salt and pepper shakers. They do have their the cork. Three dollars. I love salt and pepper shakers. Once upon a time, I collected them a long time ago, but they're in very good condition for their age. The little distress look is on purpose. That's the way they painted them. It's kind of the first of the stress look coming in. 1990. $3. Then I have a Helen Steiner Rice um, Daily Stepping Stones. If anyone knows about her, this book is like new for $1. It is from the 1970s. I think that the actual book itself is pretty. It's a perfect color with the gold. And they're doing a lot of um, decorating with the books. And this cover is, is pretty also. And it does, you know, it has little inspirational, little blessings and stuff in it. She's a very inspirational writer. Blessings, prayers, new life, love, friendship, peace, and joy. And it is like new, even though it is an older book. So I have the $3 geese of the dollar book. Look at this. <laughs> Three dollars. Me right back to the nineties. So it looks like Angelic yeah. Vintage Treasures has been in the hospital for two months. Yeah, I was reading that. I'm, I'm sorry. That's Debbie. Yeah. I had, I was wondering where she had went. I thought she got mad at me. <laughs> 
prayers. We believe in prayers. I'm not mad. I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any interest in the daily stepping? Bobby, stepping? thank you for coming by. Bye, Judy. Good to see you. Okay, here I am. Hi. So I have this artisan made tray, and it's really pretty. Sorry, my mouse is randomly clicking comments now. Let me try to. Okay. And it's got this really pretty glaze on it. It's like um, a red and green and brown glaze. And it's got two handles, and it is signed Ray on the back. And then I also have the matching creamer, which is a rather large creamer. Um, and it's got like a drip glaze as well. Really pretty colors. And then, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was like, Debbie's been gone, I guess. I don't know. And then I have this sugar, and it also matches the set. And it's got a pretty drip glaze as well. They're all signed by the same artist. So it's Artisan Pottery. And there's this one spot that looks like a, a chip, but it's pretty smooth. And it's still got the color, because like that's the color of the clay. So I don't know if that's added damage or what. But they even have the red on the inside of these pieces. And so the the whole set is going to start at $30. <clears throat> and that's some handmade artisan pottery. I had to come sit on the floor so I wouldn't break it because y'all know me. Okay. And then I also have this piece and it's pretty worn down. I just don't want to, I don't want it to go to the landfill. And it was a thirty dollars start for the for the um okay, and this is Dresden and it's semi porcelain and it had an old transfer on it of um, strawberries and their vines. And I don't know if anybody knows anyone who still paints porcelain. I know there's still people out there, and it's got the gold around the edges and it's scalloped and it has no chips and cracks for its age. It's like really amazing. And it's just sad the transfer's rubbing off. I'm going to start this at $3. And it is a, it's a like platter size. Probably about $13, 14 It is. It was my first dressed in piece, too. I was, like, so excited when I saw it. I'm just... Want to find it at home. All right. And there's my two. Here is Jane Newhouse. Okay. Next I have for you. I don't know if anybody remembers these. But I do. Um, on the inside it says 2865. And these are dated. They're made in the USA. Um, I'm not good with Roman numerals, so it's M L X X X V one one one. Okay, and here's the first one. They're very cute. It's almost like a Wedgwood color. Wedgwood blue. They're highlighted in gold. There's the duck. And here she is. She's dressed the same. They hang up on the wall very nicely. They both have really nice hooks. There, he has two ducks. And she has two ducks. They are, oh, stay here. Do you may figure out what year that is? Maybe 70 something? Um, these are nine inches tall. 
about him and her. She is almost nine and a half inches. These are so cute for a little girl's room, even for a little boy's room. Or for your kitchen. I think these are adorable at a kitchen. For the pair, we'll start these at eight dollars. Okay, there's no paint loss, no nothing. There's nothing wrong with them. And next is pink fishes. Chalkware. Two angel fishes for your bathroom. They have really nice hangers on the back. Um, I'm having a hard time holding on to them. There you go. They would look so cool in the bathroom. And like I said, these are old chalkware. There's the wire on both of them. They are Come back here. And don't fall on the floor. The angel fish is five and a half inches tall. And whatever kind of fish he is, is also five and a half inches at the tallest point, which is the sunflower. Starfish, good lord. I got sunflowers on the brain. Okay, and for this pair, we'll start this at $8. Note, you know what? Somebody's knocked this right here. So, if anybody's interested, you can't, you can't see it when it's hanging. But they did, it has been broken off. I'm sorry, I didn't see that right there. But this one's just fine, too. And the fishes, we'll start these at eight for the pair. And that's my two. Thank you. Adorable, Jane. Love it. Here is Teresa. Jane is adorable. If you need to have 50 winning chili recipes, I have the little cookbook for you for one dollar. It's all kind of yummy recipes. I so, saw, and it does have like some other decor, like Texas tags. I mean, if you wanted to just do your little journaling with this book, it's got a lot of cool pictures in it. If you want to learn how to cook some good chili, then you can do that with this book. That's one dollar. Next, I have God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change ch and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. It's a plaque. I have two dots on it. It has a leather strap. It, the back, it has a little bit of like the paint's come off or something, maybe a little chip, but and you can see it's ceramic. So this is a heavy plaque. It is a very good saying. And it's $2. So I have a $2 plaque and a $1 cookbook. Thank you. This oh, plaque is heavy. I love chili too. That's a good cookbook there. Look, you got somebody in. Mm -hmm. Debbie Vitale. For the for the plaque. For the plaque. Huh? Thank you. Oh, and she's in. Be sure to send me your information, please. Oh, for both? Okay. Oh, I have no idea. It's the MLXX. I think she said oh. I think it was 1988. I think she's missing a B in that one. Because she said B111. One, one, one. Be wrong. Thank you. And I am shipping from Mississippi. 
Thank you so much. And that's my two. All right. So I heard somebody mention wall plates. So I thought I'd bring these out again. These are from Andrea by City. And they are um, copyright Elizabeth Goals Rush. And they are both on their hangers. So here's the back side. And it's got that texturized um, pattern around the edging. And it's floral and pretty blue and red bird. And then it's also got a matching plate with a different bird. And it's the same um, Andrea Bicity and copyright Elizabeth Cole's Rush. And this is a Songbird collection. And so they are $8 choice. I have the red and white bird and the blue and red bird. Or you could just, or we could do both for 15. Whoever comes in first for that, you could just do it that way. And then, shout that one little bird has a butterfly. For my second item, it's another piece. It is Andrea by Sadiq. This is an older one. Um, and it's got a lot of flowers and race texture and applied paint on it. And it's got a gold banding around the edge. And there's the back. As you can see, it's got the older look to the back. And it has no chips or cracks or anything. And this is going to be $8 as well. How do you spell the last name? S A D E K. So I got the birds or the flower, which also has a bird. And that's my two. And here is Jane Newhouse. Oh, Jane, you're muted. Fine. Now can you hear me? Yes. Okay. This is Treasure Craft of Hawaii. I think it does. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. K-A-H-U-L-U-I Maui. Okay, this has, this is like a starburst, okay, but I think it was meant to be an ashtray, but there's no way to set your cigarette in it, so I'm not sure exactly what it is, but this is Hawaii, um, the Orchard Island. If my dad was here, he could tell you how to set every one of these. Lahani, Maui, right here. L-O-L-A-N-I, right It's here. This one is Pearl Harbor, USS. USS Arizona, right here this one is diamond head right there min hue pond on kawi right here and the orchard island we're back to the beginning it does say treasure craft on the back there's no chips no cracks um right there okay, and if you're interested in this this will start at eight dollars if there's interest and for my next one if you guys see anything because i can't see the chat at all oh yeah i'll let you know if, if somebody comes in jane Okay, thank you. Well. You're and welcome. The next one, where did they go? 
is a very pretty oriental vase with the birds and the flowers. It's gilded in gold. The blues are so pretty on this. And greens. And there's that brown red almost. This is really pretty. I hope you can see that. And on the bottom is, it says, S-H- O G U N. I can speak Spanish. You can't speak anything else. Dynasty. Shogun. Shogun. Dynasty. There's no chips, no cracks, no nothing. It's just very pretty. And it stands. Um, eight and three quarters inches tall. Across the top, it's two and a two and a half inches. If I can hold it like this. What is your start for the vase? And we'll start this at ten. If anybody's interested, that's my two. Thank you. All right, I'll be right back when I can. I gotta get lunch. Okay. Um, that is a beautiful vase. Shokin. It's going to be C H O K I N. He does a lot of the, a lot of the art from over there. A lot of gold gilding in his pieces. He makes some beautiful stuff. This is very pretty. I like how the bottom is too, because it just matches it perfect. I mean, I know the artist. That's his symbol, but. It's really nice. Try not to make me my sister. But this is very good. Thank you. All right. And I'm looking to make sure I still have... Debbie, I don't know if I still have your email. I have all your other stuff. I'm pretty sure I do. But I will double check. Okay. Um... Good night, Pat. Pat's in Singapore, so she goes to bed at this time. She wakes up with us, goes to sleep with us. <laughs> and here's Teresa. And no, the the Jean, Gina Marie. She still has a treasure craft that craft plate. I was just about to talk about that. Um, she wants to take it. Do you know Gina Marie? Jane Newhouse. No, I don't okay. think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I'm. Yeah, okay. Make, make sure you email Jane with your information, Gina Marie. Um, her email is going to be right there on the screen as soon as I take your comment off. Make sure you put the co before the at gmail.com, that dot co there. And just. Yeah, yeah, I archived all my, my people, so everybody's kind of in my archives, but I can't find... Oh, she says she brought bought brass deer for me. Okay, I got your information, Gina, no problem. Awesome, okay. <clears throat> and here is Teresa, and if y'all are interested in the beautiful Shokan vase, just let us know. Oh, that's me, not Teresa. Hey, Teresa. I was looking good there for a minute. <laughs> I have two of these made in India. Um, hanger hooks. Does have the little ceramic knob. I have $5 on them. You can either get one or two. Oh, oops. $5 each. I got to hold one at a time up there. They're not heavy. They're really lightweight. And I think this is a faux wood. They would, you know, you could hang um, belts or ties, or you could either hang anything you wanted on it. Necklaces, a pot plant, anything, because it would hold up. Okay, that's $5. And I you know these did. I, I'm getting confused. 
I have four of these little um, ceramic coasters. I've marked them down to five dollars. And they have all the different little antique cars in them. And they have the little different colors. Um, decor inside of them. There's the first two. Debbie Here's the next two. A wall hanger. Debbie, did you want... you have two, two of them, Teresa? Well, one or two. I have two, five each. Oh, I agree, Angie Christie. My dad says I'm not allowed to buy him any more knickknacks. So. She said she'll take both of them for the hanger. Thank you. And then let's keep showing them coasters one okay. more time. Okay. Little colors. They do stack very nicely. Oh, wow. It's kind of hard to hold them. Stacked up nicely. They do stack. I didn't see any markings on the bottom of any kind on any of them. I would show you the one with the stickers on. But I have marked them to filers. And it would make a great Father's Day gift. It sure would. And it talks about what kind of car in the year. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Those are so pretty. Okay, I'm going to be ready to mute them again because I echo. I'm the trouble child. Here I go. Um, oh, I got distracted. But here, right here, we have this potato. And he's... We can name him Spuds McKenzie, and he has all these little holes, and he is handcrafted, and it was made on June 16, 2016 at the Bicentennial, Laura and, by Laura and Clay, and it says Marcel Minneapolis. Wow, that survived Minneapolis. So that's going to start at $5, this potato. You can either... Do you like a twice baked potato and put your potato in there, or you could use it as a planner. And I think it's just adorable. So I'll type that in $5 starting bid potato. Okay, and that's potato with two A's. Let's see. And then I have a choice between these two Inesco mugs. I have an English Spaniel and it's stoneware. It's got that speckled glaze, a nice brown glazed handle and brown glazed rim. No chips or cracks on that one. There's the English Spaniel and it does have minimal wear to the bottom, just some like discoloration. And then I have um, the Springer Spaniel. Oh, I'm sorry, the Irish Setter. That was the Springer Spaniel. And again, another great like hunting type of gift. You could probably sprout your plants in that. Yes, Auntie Christy. <laughs> and these are gonna be a $5 choice. So you can either have the English Spaniel or the Irish Setter. And again, these are made by Nesco. And they're those heavy duty, um, great man style mugs. All right, or women, I love dogs. That's my favorite animal. Here is Miss Jane Newhouse. Let me know in the chat if you're interested. It's me again, and I got a doggy sitting on my foot. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you all to do me a favor. You two, Elizabeth and Teresa, everybody put a number between 1 and 30. In the chat, one and thirty, and I have a number right now. The closest to my number will get a big surprise. Okay. 
one and thirty. I lost my friend. There it is. You're all right, buddy. Okay. Hi, Trisha. We're finished. Okay. Huh? I said we're famous. Trish is here. Yay! We did it. Hey, Trisha. Okay. Woo! We go in places, y'all. <laughs> okay, does everybody got a man? Do you see any more? Do you see any more, you guys? Because I can't see. I can see the numbers. You can see them? Oh, Everybody yeah. Can? Yep. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. A number between 1 through 30 and don't duplicate. Okay, if there's double numbers, the second person has to change. Right. Okay, everybody done? All right, Every here's the deal. Before I tell you my number, it's right here, I have it wrote down. This is called the giving plate. This plate belongs to everyone, wherever it may go, with each new sharing of its gift. The love and blessings grow. Friends and family gather around with kindness and with laughter to nurture body, mind, and soul with memories forever after. So fill it up and pass it on to family and to friends to start to circle one more time. Love's journey never ends. And here's this beautiful plate. It has mm -hmm. an old house. It has a cow. It has a doggy running and more houses. And it just keeps going around. There's a duck and a kitty. Okay. And trees. This is so nice. There are no chips and cracks. This is dishwasher, freezer, food safe, microwavable safe, made in China. Okay, and I will give you the measurement. It is 13 inches long. Now, here's my number. Whoever's closest to this number, let me know, please. Going closest without going over because we've got one under, one over. How do you want to handle that? One. Going over usually. Without going over, yeah. So that would be yeah. Debbie. And I know over. Debbie would, and I know she could use some friend mail. Debbie's at 24. That's the closest I see. Yes, my number is 25. Yay, Debbie. Congratulations. Yay. Here's the deal. I'm going to send you this plate. When you get the plate, use it if you like. Do whatever you like. But you need to send it on. And maybe, just maybe, someday, this plate will come back to me. We'll see. Okay, so this is Debbie. Debbie, this is coming to you, my dear. And I hope you enjoy it for as long as you like. And when you're done, send it to somebody else and explain to them 
and it'll keep going. And maybe, just maybe, someday this plate will come back to me. Okay, so this is no charge. How sweet. It. Wow. That's yeah, so I sweet. Wow. Yay, Jamie. You know, you yeah. see how sweet Jamie yeah. is. You get blessings in ways you never know about, huh, Debbie? Yeah. Okay. Right. Now. Yay, that's so that one, there's no cost to that. You can send it to one of your kids. I don't care. And just see if maybe someday it'll come back. Okay. Now. For well, my next item, this is amazing to me because I hit everything with a black light, but it does still, I can't get it off yet. This pretty little green dish, it is a footed dish. It is green depression. It has like little Little knobbies where you would put your fingers, maybe. But it reminded me of a three-leaf clover because it is green. And it glows. I hope you guys can see that. It does glow. Like that. It glows and glows and glows. Even the feet glow. See if I can do it this way without blinding you. It looks really good. You can see the glowiness. That's awesome. Okay. So for this little dish, we'll start at $14 for the uranium green depression glow dish. Aha. <laughs> okay. That's my two, and I thank you. If anybody's interested, Lucy will see it in the chat. Yes, yeah, so I'll definitely let her know. So we have Dolores in at 15. I'm going to let wait and see, let this one go for a minute and see if anybody else is interested. It is beautiful. I would use it as like a plant. Stand or something, but with another dish under the plant. Almost, I think it looks like a a clover almost. Yeah, I see that. It's very neat. Mm -hmm. If you had a green pipe cleaner here, and you could mop this, that would be cute. I know, but see, three leaf clovers are my luck. Four leaf clovers never happened. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask if there's any more interest. All right, looks like I'm going to start selling it to Dolores Cowie. For $15. Thank you so much. Very, very much. All right. And I don't have Dolores' information. If she could send it, I'd appreciate it. Yes. Um, and Jane's email is right there on the screen, Dolores, if you wouldn't mind sending that over to her. And here's Teresa. Thank you, Jane. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. How precious is she? She is so precious. And hey, Chris. And Trisha and anyone else is that I have for three dollars. I have a grandma's or happiness you can hug, and it is in a plastic. Um, it's made to look 1970s, you know, mid century or whatever, but it is not, it is more modern. It does have a made in China, um, it's in perfect condition as far as that goes. Somebody worked really hard on this cross stitch, and I have this at for three dollars. Okay. And next I have um, the grape pattern milk glass dish. I do have fairy lights and I know it's daylight's kind of hard to see, but it does show the grape patterns better with the fairy lights in it. 
Yeah. Wait, it's didn't you sell that to Lexington? Like Did you sell that to Lexington? Do I? Is that the same one for Lexington? No, that was a different one. Okay. No, ma'am. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> no, it was an egg shape one. You know, I about made a mistake. Thankfully, I figured it out and didn't resell something. But this one is a different one. Um, it does have the grapes. Okay, and it, I have it for seven. If y'all ever see something and you say, hey, I done bought that, you let me know because I am human more than most. <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. I try not to, but I have the milk glass for seven. I do see somebody came in for three, right? Okay. Let me start a new page here. That is a really beautiful milk glass. That is a really That's a great deal. Dean's going to the bank. Dean better not be texting and driving you, Debbie. Okay. Uh, Dean, get us all some money while you're there, hon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I thank you. That was my two. Okay. All right. So let's see what I got for you guys. This is a um, repaired piece. It had like a chip in the corner and I just filled it with some color. You can kind of see the line there still. And it is a beautiful Majolica piece. It's hand painted exclusively for Seymour Man Incorporated. And it is even signed or marked Majolica on the bottom. It's got lily pads and I'm assuming lilies. And this is a pretty little handle. And I'm going to start it at $10 since it is repaired. Yeah, let me hold on to it too long. And it's a really pretty piece. It looks good inside or outside. Um, so there's that. Starting bed, Majolica picture. And I do believe it had a sticker, maybe not. It was from the Philippines or Portugal or something. It had a sticker, I swear. Oh, there it is. Ha! Huh? Philippines. Okay. There's the sticker. Cool. And again, it's got a lot of texture and a nice glaze on there. I know. It's just, I love I love pottery. That's like my favorite. Okay, and then I have this book here, and it's called, well, actually, I'll do them both. It's going to be $2 for the pair. It's called Between Heaven and Texas, and this one's just like a photography book, pretty much, and it's got a bunch of signatures. You can tell somebody was, like, discharged with this book, and people signed it, and just all kinds of stuff about Texas and the photos and their landscape and stuff like that. And then I also have the Texas State Parks book. And it's got pictures and information on all the different state parks out there in Texas. So if you're ever driving through that big old state, you'd be set up. And it's going to be a $2 starting bid on the books. What color is background of vase? It is brown. It's a brown color. Y'all are starting bid. So between heaven and Texas and the official guide to state park. So this is the first book. It's it's hardback and it's got a book sleeve on it. And oh. and it's just about the Texas sky and the it's a, a photography book, basically. And they just talk a little bit about the stuff going on. And then the second one is like paperback. Oh, but it's big. And I'm going to break that. Watch me. And flimsy like that. And that's my two. If anybody's interested, let me know in the chat. And here is... Miss Jane, and right about now we start reshowing what hasn't sold. If you want to go, go ahead and do that. Um, up to you. Oh, um, 
before I do that, I just want to follow up with the Oriental vase with the Oriental lady. She's Ooh. holding up. She is all white. Beautiful. Sticking up is more. <clears throat> There's no chips, cracks. There's the fan. Okay, and on the bottom, it does say Japan. If anybody's interested, um, she is, one second, she's tall. Her little feet sticking out from under her dress. Kimona, maybe that's how you say it. She's ten and a half inches tall. So, she will be ten dollars. If anybody's interested in the Oriental. Wow. Oh, sorry. This is the Oriental base that did not sell. Okay, and I have the little girl figurines with the puppy and the baby. Be careful. Oh, take your time. Take your time. Mm -hmm. How much was the, the floral base? What's that? I didn't hear you. The price on your um your floral your Asian vase. The vase? Yeah. Oh geez, I forgot what I said. I wanna say was, yeah, I wanna say it was twelve. Maybe it was ten. Okay. We'll mm -hmm. be strong if you like. And then ten for her to match if you like. If and not, that's fine. Caroline is in for the geisha. Girl. Caroline Gramble. Yep. Um, here we go. Take your time, Jane. Thank you, Caroline. Hon, can you send me your information, please? But if I have it, that's okay too. I don't remember. Yeah, you said ten dollars, Jane. Okay, so good. good. <laughs> okay, and the base for ten. <coughs> it's perfect. The gold in it is just brings it straight out. Um, I had the little girl with the puppy and the kitty. And the Humco kitty that matched the other white one. And this little guy, Lovkins, with his poppy. Um, there's the beer sign, German beer sign. It has crazy. I love crazy. And I like things with the patina too. I love that. If I wasn't on a shopping ban, I would buy that. But I'm not letting myself shop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have the bell for 10. It's like um, little violets, like African violets on the front. Um, the opalescent little two-handled carnival glass. Yes, it's it's the iridescent carnival glass. It looks opalescent. I had to Google it one day because I wasn't sure if it was carnival glass or not. Thank you. And I looked in a book for those of you against Googling. <laughs> okay, there's no chips, no cracks. Um, uh, just glass cake. We'll just put. Uh, if she doesn't say the price, we'll just ask if someone's interested. I think. Um, 
And then the, the cake stand was what? 15? 18? 18. 18. Yeah. I'll take 15. We'll do 15 if you like. That's beautiful. No. I was just guessing. I couldn't remember. I have a bad memory. But we can do 15 if, if that will move it out. We'll move it out. Um, I have a little puppy, a little poodle. And that's just Tate. He's not crap. I have the little puppy. Um, the kitty, the ducks. Hold up, Heather's in for your milk glass stands. So let's let's type that in, and we're on a lag. So let's make sure there's nobody else interested in it. Heather, Heather, I write your name and I don't write the price. Heather, fifteen. And then no, the redware poodle was how much? I know he's not two dollars. She was just saying. He was four. Four. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste you, Christy. You're good. I got a mouse today. What? Um, I have the duck. My little blue duck. That squawk a lot. Here, let's see if we do that. There's the one that squawks. There's the one that stands. And um, the old chocolate fishes for the pair. And I think I said 10, but because this, you, you can't, but because it is gone, we'll them down to eight for the pair of the fishes. And what else? Ducky. Jane, Dolores would like to know she sent you her info, Caroline as well, and we are sold to Heather for 15 on your milk glass wedding cake dish. Heather is Teresa's daughter, and so it's just Teresa's info is what you use for that. And I'll send that to you. Yeah, because don't you guys live like right there next to each other practically? So. You guys live like right there next to each other mm -hmm. And that's a good pick, Heather. That the milk glass that's painted is some old stuff. I'm echoing like crazy. You froze. Okay. And then like. I have the Sunshine Kids or Sue Bonnet, whichever one you want is right. I always called them the Sunshine Kids. And there's these two. And, and there's these two. Now I'm not going. <laughs> and then the, oh, I have the canister. Here's the canister. It tells you the measurements on the back. And truly, I think that's it. So if anybody's interested in anything, just type them in and we'll get it. Thank you all. All right. And those ducks, Lefton came out with a line. I want to say it was Lefton, if I'm not mistaken. That was like quilted looking. And that's what those remind me of. They're very like nice quality. They very are. Cool. You did a wonderful job on them. Yeah. I can't wait to show you the ones I did. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Teresa. Thank you, Jane. I'll pull this all up at the end. Yeah. I had this in my hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it. It's a left hat. You can make it be a planter or you can put spoons in it at a party. You know, I have ten dollars on it. 
It is the larger one. Uh, jo Joanne, wasn't that what you were looking for? Or was that somebody else? It's four inches tall by about four, almost five inches across. So it is the larger one. Is Joanne still here? She may have hopped out. It is out. in perfect, perfect condition. All right. Um, I'll start showing what I've done shown. Three dollars. I believe what I am. Three dollars on my blue bow goose. Salt and pepper shakers. I gotta remember how this goes about that song. Know, maybe I'll just show something else. I think I got a system going over here. I don't know what so I wasn't happy to look at my book. I'm gonna show these again because it's probably about the last time I'm gonna show them. I have six bowls and six plates. We make a beautiful table scape. They are emerald rose, dishwasher safe. They are in very good condition. They have a gold trim around them. It's $20 for the 12 pieces. They are beautiful. The large one, Caroline. Well, then maybe you need to get it. <laughs> So these are 20 and the hat is 10. This is that's I mean I sold a pretty good bit of stuff. That's good for me today. Oh, Joanne does want the hat. Okay. Hi, Joanne. I do have a small one. I'll try to get it out for tomorrow if you want me to. Showed it a while back. Thank y'all so much for joining us on our days. Lucy, you still got to show yours, right? Yeah, I'm not going to show too much because I think I only sold one thing, so I don't want to go through everything. <laughs> and so I'm going to mute you guys because I'm going to echo real bad. So hold on. And uh, they're coming on all through the week. We'll show. We'll show. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have this fish. He's huge. He's ginormous. He's fifteen dollars. He has that little bit of. Oh, I need to put myself on the screen, huh? A little bit of damage here on his mouth, but it didn't go all the way through. Like it's still heavy duty, and he's got a little bit, a little ding on the top of his fin. And I think I said he was fifteen. I'll do 12 on him if anybody's interested. This was $10. Um, that is the Portuguese pottery, or Philippine pottery, I'm sorry, Majolica. The $30 artisan pottery set, which is, a I think, a phenomenal price for that piece. That's really pretty. I have the $2 Texas books. Um... I had my goodness, my um, redware kitty cat dish, and he's eight dollars. And then I have my Royal Copley. Um, I think this is a tulip planter. I could be saying the wrong flower, and it's got some crazing on the inside there, and quite a bit of crazing on the outside. But it is smooth, no chips, no cracks, just some wear to the bottom, and it does have its stamp. Um, and that was $12, I want to say. Anyway, that's good for me, too, today. I'm going to pull this all up on screen. Here we go. Okay. So, I have all of us linked in the description below. If you're subscribed to us, got you, Heather. Um, you have to subscribe to Jane if you aren't already, for sure. At Doggone Happy J Vintage Co. Mm, for sure. Tomorrow, we're going to be on Teresa's channel. So make sure y'all go and subscribe to Teresa's channel. Um, thank y'all. Thank you so much. I, I, we really enjoyed our time with y'all today. 
Jane, thank you so much for coming on. You're a sweetheart. Oh, no, you guys are. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm ready to do it again. We ready to do it again? You'll have to come again. Yeah, definitely. Come on. Just let us know. We're on Monday through Friday in the mornings, you know, so. Oh, and okay. if everyone do, do a nighttime, Monday's my, my nighttime day, so. And Tuesday's mine at 10. Okay, Eastern. okay. 10 Eastern. Cool. Now that I know that, 10, 9 Central. Cool. Awesome. So, two. Yeah. All right. Well, we thank you guys. If I'm running a little way, it'll be okay. I'll be here. Um, we have graduation tonight. So, Ooh. my green is graduating. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. He has two graduations, vote tax. He got a $5,000 scholarship from the tax and a $5,000 gift card. For five thousand dollars with the tool, and then June third is high school graduation, and he graduates with high honors again. Wow, oh, that is amazing! It is so amazing. My granddaughter's graduating too, and she's got some college courses done too under her belt. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> That's good. I love your puppy. <laughs> I know, Bobo. He was determined he was going to say goodbye to everybody. Too. He was coming up here. They just oh, delivered my bubble wrap, thankfully. I can get some stuff off. So he was like telling me somebody was here. So. <laughs> well, we, love you. we love you guys, and we'll see you all tomorrow for sure. And tonight at Jane's Cell. See you in the morning. Bye. Love you guys. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.